I'm Robin with Big Doodle Dreams, and this sweet boy is Max. He is an Aussie Doodle. He is retired. He's no longer a breeding dog. He um, has a lot of training on him and, and has spent a lot of time as far as training is concerned. But what I wanted to talk to you about is boy dogs and the misconception that boy dogs tend to mark. And, and this really is a big misconception. Um, yes, boy dogs can mark, so can girl dogs. But let's talk about the whole angle of this and why this, this can be a mis misconception. Um, he was a breeding dog for the first four and a half years of his life. So he was an intact male. And, and of course he's had competition of other boy dogs. He's had girl dogs around but he has never lifted in my house. I've never, you know, given that as an opportunity or even, you know, made that something that he should be doing. And there's certain ways that this, this happens. So the first thing, that one, of, one of the things that, that would be a mistake would be to put your dog in the backyard, shut the door, and come back two hours later. Not necessarily that you're teaching them to mark, but because they're in that backyard alone, they have to figure out, well, I don't want another dog coming into my yard. So instinctively, they will run around the perimeter of the yard and they will mark it. Because this is telling all of the other neighboring dogs that this is my yard. This yard belongs to me and I don't want you coming here. Boy dogs will do that and girl dogs will do that. If you're raising a puppy, you shouldn't put them in the backyard and shut the door and walk away. You should take them out there, tell them to go to the bathroom, have them relieve themselves, and bring them right back in. The, the problem is when they're left outside without human companionship, without the, the alpha, because the humans need to be the alpha. If the human is the alpha, you're not giving the dog that opportunity. So that would be the very first mistake that you can make in, in allowing that behavior to occur. You don't want that behavior to occur, occur. So the second mistake happens when you take your dog for a walk. So my suggestion, have them relieve themselves in the backyard and when you take a walk, the walk is, is for fun. It's not to stop at every bush and every mailbox and every place that looks good to pee on. Because by stopping and letting them go to the bathroom, and it's drip, drip. I mean, it's all it is when they mark. But you're teaching them the behavior by stopping and letting them drip on this tree, and this bush, and this mailbox, and everywhere else. You're telling them that that behavior is perfectly acceptable when in fact it's not. So, when, when you're trying to choose a male dog or a female dog, you should not be looking at the aspects of, gee, I don't want the male dog because they're gonna mark my house. He's a loose dog. He sleeps in my bedroom at night. His worst behavior is picking out all the socks out of my laundry basket. And he dumps them all over the bedroom and the next morning I have to run around and pick up all the socks. He doesn't destroy them. It's just something he does. And, and it's, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't bother me in the least. So, but he does not, you know, we take a walk and he understands that this right now while we're out, this is not for him to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom is back at the yard when I tell him he can go because I'm alpha and he knows it. He knows, he knows I'm boss, he knows I control the food, he knows where the love comes from, he knows who's in charge and it's, it's perfectly fine. That's what you want to have with your puppy. You want your puppy to know that you're in charge. You want your puppy to understand that there's boundaries and you do want to teach them, Max, sit down. You want to teach them where to go to the bathroom and not to be, you know, going on every bush and every, you know, when you take a walk, make it a fun, enjoyable walk. And, you know, Yes, there are dogs that will lift, but most likely they came from an environment. So if you've rescued a dog, probably that dog learned that, that behavior because of, out of necessity. They had to mark that area. 
you know, a dog that's been raised in a kennel, they've got to mark that area to tell all the other dogs that they're in charge and this is their area. So think about that as you begin to raise your puppy. And think about even the, the idea of this door is the magic potty door. This is the door to go outside to relieve yourself in the backyard. But this door, when we go out through this, this is a walk door. You know, if you have the back door into the fenced in area and you've got the front door for the walk, teach them that. Teach them the difference. Have that equipment by the door for the walk so that when you get ready to take that walk, that they understand, they know what that means. They, they go to that door and they get it. It's time for a walk. It's not time to go in the backyard. So I, boy dogs and girl dogs, I always get asked the question of, tell me the difference between the two. Boy dogs are more Velcro. They want to be with you. They want to work for you. They want to do for you. They are more interested in helping you. Girl dogs tend to be more independent. Not necessarily that they're not Velcro, but they're not as Velcro as the boy dogs. He follows me everywhere. He'll follow me. Let's not do that now. <laughs> He'll follow me right into the bathroom and, and have to be with me. And that's, that is just his way. He, he wants to be with me. The girl dogs are not likely to follow me into the bathroom. They're going to look, see that I left the room, and be like, she'll be back. I don't have to follow. I know she'll be back. So there, there is that difference in them. But boy dogs are far more interested in helping and doing for you. So I hope that, that my information was helpful to you in making decisions and in getting ready for your puppy. And please check out my website, Big Doodle Dreams, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your time.